On December 31st, 2025, the city of Chongqing, a mega city in China with over 32 million people, hosted what might be the most advanced New Year celebration in human history. 8,000 drones took to the sky, not randomly, not in simple patterns, but in a fully choreographed AI-controlled light show that lasted over 23 minutes without a single error, collision, or malfunction. These weren't just drones hovering in place, flashing colors. They were creating three-dimensional animations in the sky, dragons that seemed to swim through the air, their bodies undulating like living creatures, phoenixes rising with wings that actually flapped in slow, deliberate beats, cultural symbols that told stories, and a massive countdown sequence that built tension as the city prepared to leap into 2026. The dragons moved and writhed across hundreds of meters of airspace, their scales appearing to shimmer as individual drones adjusted brightness. The phoenixes burst into brilliant orange and red hues, colors cascading through the formation like flames before transforming into massive three-dimensional digits. Two, zero, two, six, hanging in the sky with depth and layers that made them look almost solid. Every single drone knew its exact position relative to the thousands around it, adjusting in real time, communicating through invisible networks, and executing a performance so precise that one wrong move from any single unit could have caused chaos. But it didn't. For 23 minutes, the sky became a living, breathing, digital canvas. Now compare that to Times Square in New York City on the same night. A giant crystal ball descended down a pole while confetti cannons fired and fireworks lit up the sky. A tradition over a century old that hasn't fundamentally changed in decades. Times Square is a static, two-dimensional celebration anchored to one location. Chongqing turned the entire sky into a dynamic, three-dimensional, AI-coordinated canvas with depth, movement, and interaction across multiple mediums simultaneously. Times Square relies on confetti that requires massive cleanup crews the next morning. Chongqing's technology returned to charging stations with zero waste. The environmental contrast is equally stark. Traditional fireworks release toxic chemicals, heavy metals, and smoke into the air while startling animals and disrupting ecosystems. Chongqing used reusable drones, lasers producing pure light with zero emissions, and water curtains that evaporate naturally. America celebrated the same way it has for a hundred years. China celebrated like it had already jumped into the middle of the century. But the drones were only part of the story. Massive laser arrays sent multicolored beams sweeping through the air in perfect sync with the formations above. When the dragon appeared, Green lasers traced its outline, amplifying its shape and making it visible from miles away. When the phoenix rose, red and orange lasers radiated outward from its wings like flames, creating the illusion that the bird was glowing with internal fire. During the countdown, the lasers formed pulsing rings around the numbers, contracting and expanding with each second that passed. Giant water curtains projected onto the river's surface displayed animations that seemed to float on the water itself. Traditional Chinese paintings of dragons coiling through clouds when the sky dragon flew overhead, cascading numbers mirroring the countdown above, and abstract patterns that swirled in time with the music. Illuminated boats floated down the river in a synchronized parade, their glowing panels changing colors in perfect harmony with the drones and lasers overhead. Traditional fireworks were used sparingly, strategically placed to punctuate key moments. Short bursts during transitions and golden showers cascading behind the phoenix. Everything, every drone, every laser, every projection, every boat, was choreographed to music, creating a symphony of light, sound, and technology that felt less like a celebration and more like a glimpse into 50 years from now. The technology behind this is where things get truly wild. Coordinating 8,000 autonomous flying machines in a confined airspace above a crowded city isn't just impressive. It's a computational challenge that most countries couldn't even attempt. Each drone has to calculate its position, 
velocity, and trajectory while accounting for wind, air pressure, and the movements of thousands of neighbors. The system uses artificial intelligence to monitor, adjust, and optimize in real time. If wind conditions shift, the AI compensates instantly. If one drone experiences a minor issue, the system reroutes formations on the fly without disrupting the overall choreography. Communication between units happens in milliseconds, creating a network where thousands of machines act as a single coordinated entity. And somehow, not a single drone failed, collided, or fell out of formation. That level of precision is proof that China has mastered swarm coordination at a scale most nations are still struggling to achieve in controlled lab environments. Chongqing has a history of massive drone displays. The city previously deployed 11,787 drones in a single show. But this new year wasn't about breaking raw numbers. It was about integration, combining multiple technologies into a seamless, multi-sensory experience that lasted nearly half an hour and required perfect synchronization across air, water, and ground. Thousands of residents and tourists packed the riverbanks to watch something that felt less like entertainment and more like a demonstration of where celebration technology is headed. What almost nobody on the riverbanks or watching online could see was the invisible machine humming beneath the spectacle. The months of planning, simulation, and coordination needed to make thousands of autonomous flying robots, precision lasers, and floating projections behave like a single organism. The dragons and phoenixes that looked effortless in the sky started as detailed 3D animations on screens, then were broken down into millions of precise coordinates that told each drone exactly where to be at every moment. Those formations were stress-tested in virtual simulations that replayed the entire 23-minute show over and over, checking for potential collisions, dead angles where shapes wouldn't read from key viewpoints, and timing conflicts with the music and lasers. On the night itself, a mission control-style command center watched over everything in real time. Giant displays tracking swarm health, wind patterns over the river, battery levels, and formation integrity, while an AI conductor made tiny adjustments on the fly so the sky images stayed perfectly smooth even when reality didn't behave exactly like the simulations. If a gust of wind nudged a few drones off course or a unit reported a minor issue, the system quietly reshaped the formation around the problem instead of letting the audience see a glitch. To the crowd, the dragon's body never broke the phoenix's wings never stuttered, and the countdown numbers never wobbled. It all felt like magic. But underneath that magic was a city-scale coordination exercise, proving that Chongqing and China can deploy and control swarms of intelligent machines over a living, breathing metropolis without the chaos that would terrify most regulators and planners. What makes this even more impressive is how Chongqing fused tradition with innovation. Dragons represent power and good fortune. Phoenixes symbolize rebirth and harmony. Instead of paper lanterns or traditional decorations, Chongqing brought these ancient symbols to life in the sky using cutting-edge technology. The dragons didn't just hover, they moved with grace, fluidity. The phoenixes rose with majesty. This wasn't technology replacing culture, it was technology amplifying culture, taking symbols thousands of years old and presenting them in a medium that feels impossibly futuristic. But here's what this celebration really represents. This wasn't just entertainment, this was infrastructure demonstration. The same technology that created dragons and phoenixes can coordinate logistics manage package deliveries, respond to disasters, and, yes, execute military operations. When a city can deploy thousands of autonomous machines and execute a flawless 23-minute performance in front of millions, it's demonstrating infrastructure capability at a level few nations can match. Other countries are still running small pilot programs with a few dozen drones in controlled settings. 
China is operating at full scale over major cities, broadcasting them live and making it look routine. So what does the future of celebrations look like after this? Once you've seen dragons made of light swimming through the sky, traditional fireworks feel outdated. Cities around the world are going to want this. Dubai, Singapore, Sydney, London. But replicating it requires infrastructure, regulatory frameworks, AI systems, and technical expertise that take years to develop. China built this foundation step by step, testing and refining until massive drone shows became not just possible, but reliable and repeatable. By 2030, drone shows will likely be standard globally, but China isn't waiting for 2030. They're already there. On December 31st, 2025, while most of the world was watching fireworks and dropping balls, Chongqing executed a 23-minute performance involving thousands of synchronized machines, lasers, water projections, and illuminated boats, all without technical failure. They didn't just celebrate the arrival of 2026, they celebrated what the future of human gatherings will look like when technology and culture merge seamlessly. So here's the question for you. Would you rather watch a ball drop in Times Square or would you rather watch dragons made of light dance across the sky? Where are you watching from and what does your city do for New Year? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, smash that like button, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching and welcome to the future.